Welcome back to Battle Tank HQ. Today, we're diving deep into the future of American Armored Warfare, the M1E3, the next generation evolution of the legendary M1 Abrams. If you thought the Abrams was already unstoppable, the M1E3 is here to prove that America isn't slowing down when it comes to tank innovation. So, buckle up, because this is going to be a full breakdown of design, technology, firepower, mobility, and why this tank is set to dominate the battlefields of tomorrow. Dash Dash Dash, Chapter 1, The Legacy of the Abrams 3 O'Clock. Before we talk about the M1E3, we need to understand its roots. The M1 Abrams first rolled out in the 1980s, designed to counter the Soviet threat during the Cold War. With its powerful 105mm gun later upgraded to 120mm advanced armor and turbine engine, it quickly became one of the most feared tanks in the world. Over the decades, it went through several upgrades, M1A1, M1A2, M1A the 2nd of September variants, all improving firepower, armor, and digital systems. These upgrades kept it relevant through the Gulf War, Iraq, and Afghanistan. But warfare is changing, with the rise of drones, loitering munitions, hypersonic weapons, and electronic warfare, even the Abrams needs an overhaul. That's where the M1E3 comes in. Dash 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 Chapter 2, What is the M1E3, 6 o'clock? The M1E3 Abrams is not just another upgrade, it's a full modernization project announced by the US Army in 2023. The E in its name stands for Engineering Change Proposal, meaning it's a deep redesign rather than a small improvement. This tank is planned to replace older Abrams models in the 2030s, making it the backbone of American armored forces for decades. Its main goals are, reduced weight for better mobility, stronger protection against modern threats, integration with unmanned systems, improved fuel efficiency, future-proof design for AI and battlefield networking. This isn't just an Abrams with extra armor bolted on, it's a smarter, lighter, and deadlier machine. Dash Dash Dash, Chapter 3, Design and Weight Reduction 10 o'clock. One of the biggest criticisms of the Abrams is its weight. Current versions like the M1A the 2nd of September V3 weigh around 73 tons, making them extremely heavy. This limits mobility across bridges, rough terrain, and transport aircraft. The M1E3 is being re-engineered with a target weight of around 60 tons. That's still massive, but much lighter than the current Abrams. How are they achieving this? Modular armor packages instead of permanently welded armor. Lightweight composite materials replacing some steel components. Active Protection Systems APS, taking on part of the defense role instead of relying only on thick armor. This means the tank will remain heavily protected, but with more flexibility and agility. Dash Dash Dash, Chapter 4, Armor and Protection Systems 1500. The M1 Abrams has always been famous for its Chobum composite armor, which proved nearly invincible in Desert Storm. But today, armor alone isn't enough. The M1E3 introduces next-generation armor modules, including Improved Chobum composites with advanced ceramics Explosive reactive armor era add-ons for extra defense Active protection systems APS, like Israel's trophy system, capable of shooting down incoming rockets and missiles The APS is a game-changer. Instead of just sitting and taking a hit, the tank actively defends itself by detecting threats and neutralizing them mid-air. In short, the M1E3 will be like a fortress on wheels, nearly impossible to take down with conventional anti-tank weapons. Dash Dash Dash, Chapter 5, Firepower 2000. Let's talk about the tank's most important feature, its gun. The Abrams currently uses a 120mm smoothbore gun, one of the most powerful in the world. The M1E3 is expected to keep this caliber but with major upgrades. Improved auto low. So, buckle up, because this is going to be a full breakdown of design, technology, firepower, mobility, and why this tank is set to dominate the battlefields of tomorrow. Dash Dash Dash, Chapter 1, The Legacy of the Abrams 3 O'Clock. Before we talk about the M1E3, we need to understand its roots. The M1 Abrams first rolled out in the 1980s, designed to counter the Soviet threat during the Cold War. With its powerful 105mm gun later upgraded to 120mm advanced armor and turbine engine, it quickly became one of the most feared tanks in the world. Over the decades, it went through several upgrades, M1A1, M1A2, M1A the 2nd of September variants, all improving firepower, armor, and digital systems. 
These upgrades kept it relevant through the Gulf War, Iraq, and Afghanistan. But warfare is changing, with the rise of drones, loitering munitions, hypersonic weapons, and electronic warfare, even the Abrams needs an overhaul. That's where the M1E3 comes in. Dash dash dash, chapter 2, what is the M1E3, 6 o'clock. The M1E3 Abrams is not just another upgrade, it's a full modernization project announced by the US. Army in 2023. The E in its name stands for Engineering Change Proposal, meaning it's a deep redesign rather than a small improvement. This tank is planned to replace older Abrams models in the 2030s, making it the backbone of American armored forces for decades. Its main goals are reduced weight for better mobility, stronger protection against modern threats, 